Ja. ADHD. ADHD. Oh man, ADHD. Well, it's a thing. What is it? Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. I'm not going to go in detail. I'm just going to tell you my experience. I'm not going to get too much in depth of what it is. I'm just going to talk about how it's affecting me as a content creator here on YouTube. How my mind just goes in multiple different directions. And sometimes I'm just left gazing in open space somewhere. So this is just coming from my experience that I've just had during my challenge I did here on YouTube. It has been tough. I've just got to keep doing it. And I think that's the only way I'm only going to get better. And anyone else is going to get better. Just doing it. That's why I set this challenge for myself, just to be able to do it. So no matter what kind of disability you may have, just go for it. What I tend to do when I feel myself, I just go blank. I don't know what to say most of the time because I've got so many things going around in my head. So what I think I need to do is perhaps better plan my videos. That way it may help me out. So I do find it difficult to plan things out because usually I just go with the flow. But you know, that's fine for now. Like I say, this is my own challenge and I'm just gonna do it. Just by doing it, it's only gonna get better. I'm only gonna find out what things I'm doing wrong and what things I'm doing right. Take away the bad things, introduce new things, what worked and what didn't work. So going back to quantity and quality. The more you do something, the better it becomes. So that's the reason why I didn't upload about two days ago. Plus, I wasn't very happy with it. So I had to come up with another idea without trying to get too distracted. You know, I really do enjoy creating these videos. But at the same time, when I'm looking right there at you guys, it's something completely new. And I think that scares me. But what I realise is I've just got to keep at it because it's just something completely new. You know, I need to learn to just talk. Not to a camera, no, but to the audience. There's different ways about it. You can either think of it as you were talking to a family or a friend. Or what you could do is think of it like a or something like a video conference. Um, whatever works well with you. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Because I'm normally the one behind the camera as I am a photographer. But at the same time, as a kid, I used to just document myself pretty much every day, non-stop. That, it was just fun. I didn't have to show anyone. No, I didn't have to show anyone, not at all. This is before YouTube even existed. I've probably still got some videos of myself. And that's probably a good idea that I've got is to just uh, go in my big, go in my, my old hard drive and pull out some of the footage that I can find from when I was little that I could use. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you too much of what I've got on there, but I will give you a bit of a hint. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I've missed my flat. That's it. If that's something you want to view, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified. Subscribe, 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 that's all. So as you may know, ADHD does affect my creative flow, whether that's talking, thinking, and as you may already know, act on impulse. Thanks, appreciate it. So yes, what I gotta do is just keep at it, keep going as much as I can, because at the end of the day, it's only myself I am letting down. So we have another 25, 24 days of this challenge left and I don't know how much I can do. I've, I've heard other YouTubers say once a day for 30 days, now that is a challenge. Um, yeah, they're probably right. It's just something that I feel like I need to do because I know it's telling the universe that I really want this. What you give to the universe, the universe provides you. There's a quote that I really like from my favourite poet, and that is, let what you love be what you do. Also, another one by him, what you seek is seeking you. Magical. Those words have a lot of meaning in them, and you can take them however you want. And that poet's name is called Rumi. And yeah, I've got them actually on my wall. I'll come. Let what you love be what you do. That one there, what you seek is seeking you. That's that. We just gotta keep at what we love. 
Because if you enjoy something, you're always going to stick at it. But if you're just doing it for the sake of it, I think it's not going to last as long. And with this whole channel, I'm just going with it. I'm just <laughs> just going with the floor. Oh, 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 and I nearly forgot. Um, with the whole planning and schedule, it's going to be a new thing. I'm going to do it. Rachel, she's gone out of her way to plan a lot of these videos out for me. And then hopefully, of course, I'm going to learn how she does that. She's always there for me, no matter what. I have no idea what I will do without her. She has helped me form a lot of ideas. I'm very lucky to have someone like her in my life. Someone who can direct me and guide me. Rachel, you are a star and I love you very much. So guys, uh, that's going to be it for today. Um, and uh, hopefully I can catch you in tomorrow's video. So if this has helped you in whatsoever, um, please do give me a like. It does really help me out. And if you've got any questions, write down in the comments just down below. And I'm happy to reply. So anyway, I will see you in the next video.